V bistvu prvi sem se začel, sem se tako, da sem videl spoh, kako zgleda kajtanje v živo, je bilo tukaj na Kanarcih in v bistvu ravno takrat po leti je bilo to svetovno prvenstvo od kajtanja, pi krajej. Pa dejansko to stvar, ki sem videl, me je prevzela, pa sem rekel, to je to. Ko sem se vrnil nazaj v Slovenijo, sem dejansko takoj kupil kajt, pa še tisto jesen začel kajtati. Tako da, v bistvu, to so bili prvi moji koraki kajtanja. V bistvu, kajtanje je res tako zelo naravi prijazen šport in res to nas tudi združuje skupaj pri kajtanju, pa zavest do recimo plaže, pa vsi imamo recimo radi plaže, pa te naše spote, pa morje, pa ocean. Pa res je pomembno, da pazimo, da tudi ostane tako, tako ko jo imamo radi, pa tako ko jo dobimo. V bistvu samo kajtanje in sem šport je dejansko pozitivno vpliven ljudi na osveščanje do narave, pa do okolja, pa recimo že v sami kajkala šoli se trudimo našim učencem in ljudem, ki se deležujo naših kajtkempov in kajtripov, da bi jim podali ta občutek, da so del narave dejansko in da plažo, v katero radi hodijo in radi pridejo kajta, da je tudi njihova in dejansko, da se tudi zvedel do njetko, da je njihova pa tudi ostane taka recimo za naslednje generacije, ki bo prišli, pa da bo lahko res uživali v isti stvari, kot je mi, pa če ne še boljši dejansko, ker mislim, da vsak je dožen pripomoč, da da svoj delež temu, da so zadeve ostane, od kako so bile, pa je dejansko še boljši. Kajtan je zame nekaj širšeg, kot samo tisto, ki se zgodi na vodi, ko prideš. Kajtan je življenjski stil, je vse tisto, ki prinaša zdravo življenje. Veliko vode, veliko morja, seveda, čakanje na veter, umiritev, umiritacija, pa tudi preprava z navodo, z kakšno jogo. Pa seveda tisti najlepši nebo sladek del, ko je prava voda, pa pravi veter. Kajtanje me je še dodatno očaralo, ker sem imela mogoče celo najlepšo kombinacijo za učenje, kar se da. Suhe vaje na kopnem s kajtom tukaj na Fuerti, na Flagbiču, ki je prekrasni širok pesek. Potem pa prvič, žal so bile spet prekratke počitnice, kot vedno na Perti. Prvič sem pa šla v vodo na Neretvi, ki je pa popolnoma idealen spod za začetnike, ker je čisto vhled voda in laminaren majstral, tako da to bo mače povezano, gre kar samo, ko dobiš desko in kaj dve roke. Čeprav to verjetno tako samo zgleda, zadnje so sreda dolge predpriprave in teoretične razlage dobrih instruktorjev.
really good spot and for the Vettura it's like kind of a bad spot but it's just uh, really strong winds there and here it's nice and steady winds, flat water, uh, pretty much perfect condition for freestyle. I was like, uh, I think it was about nine years old when I started windsurfing and then on my 13th I, uh, I switched to kiting and then I, I kept my windsurf gear a bit but then I was always kiting and then I sold it. So yeah, then since then, ever then, I've been just kiting and kiting and kiting. Maybe after three months of kiting, like they uh, they got my first response, like was Mystic and Brunati. They were the first ones, and you know they uh, at the end of that year, after one year of kiting, I, I was going to a photo photo shoot for Bra uh, in Brazil for Brunati. So. Like the first couple of years was everything going really fast. Like and then after one and a half years started, I already won the European Championship Juniors inside of France. So from that moment on, I was like really like I uh, really like competing as well, and this is what I want to do. Aaron, um, I heard he did a 900, and I was like, this is the flat nine, and I was like thinking, I was doing backside sevens, and I was just thinking like, it's unbelievable if he did a backside nine, it's like I cannot, like, and I'm not that far behind, I'm just like, it's impossible, because I just was getting the seven, like pretty good, but I was like, I just couldn't think about the backside nine, and then I saw his movie, and then it was a frontside nine, which is a lot easier than a backside nine. So when I watched it, I was like, hey, okay, that's why. And then I tried it as well, boom, and I landed the first try, so yeah. Because that was uh, for, the, uh, for the Futura just before the competition, and we were doing uh, frontside sevens all the time, and I had quite a lot of time, and then I was like, like hey, dude, I'm gonna do a nine. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know to who I yelled it, but it was yeah. just like kind of a joke, and then I was like, bum, 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 like, uh, Okay, that was just a nine. I was like, okay, perfect. Last year I bought an old car that I want to restore completely. It's an old Ford out of 1956. And I bought a new engine, brought a new drivetrain, like everything is new, but everything is still in boxes. Like I bought the car, it got shipped, it's in my garage, but it's there and I haven't touched it yet just because I don't have any time. <laughs> I think we have a problem. No <laughs> problem. See, that's what I used to do. I was an athlete to start with, and then I, then I start, you know, working with a company. Say, why don't we make better product and all this? And then I did, I did R and D, and then I developed my own product. And then, then I start uh, to use my image to do different thing, and then I get interesting in, in, in all the filming and all. So I touch a little bit of everything, which is it's fun because kiteboarding is the first sport in my life. And I, I went from A to Z. Like there was no sport. I start kiteboarding day minus one, you know. And kite surfing and kiteboarding, I think what's beautiful about it is the fact that it actually brings you to all the elements. The ocean, uh, snow kite the mountain, but the ocean, the, the water and also the, the wind. And it's the only sport you can do in three dimensions. In the sun, yeah. And, and people actually kiteboarding has got a lot of beautiful destinations around the world. And that's what I've been doing for 13 years now. Almost, actually now 14 years because I started in August 1998 and then it's been, it's been now exactly now 14 years and I've been finding different places in the world and promoting the sport of kiteboarding.
of the beauty of kiteboarding is because, you know, like here, you can windsurf because it's very uh, shallow water. But for kiteboarding, it's fantastic. I mean, it's, you, know, you know, when it's windy here, how many people come here? It's, it's amazing. I mean, it's like an enthusiasm of people. That's why I like it. It's like the people now are excited. Like, it's a new sport. It's cool. And you know, now here, there's the world champion who's here at the moment, Yuri Zun. And I mean, everybody's like stoked and they inspire people also. And, so the sport has world championship in kiteboarding and kite surfing and uh, around the world and the destination is very interesting because people discover new place all the time. They travel over the world to discover a new kiteboard spot and, uh, and that's the beauty I think of the sport because it, it uh, allows you to discover places like here, you know, like this is just a regular beach with a flat water spot and then you have all these people come from different places. I think it's a new, really new destination and a lot of the yachties, a lot of people from the boat and more and more people discovering Croatia now. Ставлю шатер со стилом. Shatter, shatter, shatter. 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 Shatter, shatter,